Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to be installing some water hoses or PVC piping into the water cooling unit. And as you can see, what I've already done was I installed a, one tube from the radiator into one of the water blocks. So what I'm going to do, and this is how, how it looks after it's completed, so what I'm going to do for the video is show you how to install uh, one of these tubes and the nozzle connectors into the water blocks. So basically the tubing comes like so, directly from the tubing manufacturer. In this case I ordered this directly from Coins. And I believe I ordered around 10 feet of, uh, of the tubing. And they come in different colors um, and actually different sizes as well. This is a 3 8 inch inside diameter and a half an inch outside diameter. Along with the tubes come these nozzles. And these nozzles are basically, uh, they come in two different parts. There's an, an inside nozzle and an outside clamp. And they come apart like so. <clears throat> and this is the part that connects to the actual device. So let me connect this thing directly to the water block. And since I already have the uh, in of the water block, I need to connect this to the out of the water block. So it connects simply like so. And it's got a little rubber gasket, so you have to tighten it with your fingers. And you don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want to under tighten it either. So that's how you connect the nozzle. And then <clears throat> you connect another nozzle into the end of the second water block in a daisy chain fashion. So here I am installing the input for this water block. There we go. Now, this tube I cut uh, with some visual inspection just to see if it's the right size. But basically it's going to go in, in here and in there. Now the thing that you have to remember is to put these clamps before you connect the, the hoses, otherwise you're not going to be able to put them in. So you have to put them in backwards like so, with the threads going out, and then you, put it, you connect the, uh, the PVC piping, and then you clamp it down with the clamps. So let me attempt to put one in. They're very, very tight, and one way that I've found out how to make them a little bit looser for install is to take needle nose pliers, stick them in, and kind of stretch them a little bit. And this softens them up just a little bit, just for the purpose of connecting the tube to the nozzle. So here I go. It's very, very tight, and that's the way it should be. So let me move these out of the way so you can see. And then I'm going to push it through. It's okay to uh, press on the tube. There we go. And that's pretty much it. And it's got, oh, still has more room to go. So let me press it some more. Ah, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna put this clamp thread in. probably hear that. There we go. That's pretty tight. And that's how you connect it. And the next connector is to put it in here. So I need to make sure that the thread goes inside first. So let me push it all the way out so I have more room to breathe here. Let me open up the hose a little bit. There we go. Press it down a little bit. And push it in. You gotta push it in all the way, otherwise you'll have a pretty nasty water leak, which you don't want to have. That's about it. And then you close it back with the clamp thread, like so. And that's about it. And this is how you connect the tubing to the water blocks. 
Now the next step is of course to keep on connecting them in, in series, um, basically in of one into the out of the other. So this is the out of the radiator into the input of the water block, out of the water block, and the in of the other water block, out of this water block into the pump unit, from the pump unit to the radiator and to the radiator back to the rest of the unit. So um, I'm going to make another video once it's all completed. In the meantime, this is basically how you put the tubes in and how you connect them to different water blocks. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another video coming up soon as I complete the water cooling system. Subscribe and thanks for watching.